this guide will possibly fix all the 5m errors and crashes also lag because in this video we will clear 5m cache memory and deleting any mods that might have been installed in your 5m and you don't know about it which may cause crashes we'll do some windows settings to make windows run 5m with high performance and update tracktex latest version nothing is shown in this video is harmful or dangerous for everyone 100% safe fix so let's start first we're gonna do some 5m game settings make sure that you have checked these boxes as mine now we're gonna delete 5m cache memory right click on start button and click on run type app data go to local find 5m 5m application data folder and you're gonna have to go to data folder and there will be a cache memory folder cache folder make sure to delete all the files in it that's it now go back also open the mod folder and delete any mod file in this folder all the files this folder should be empty we're gonna have to do some windows settings now type graphic settings in graphic settings you guys have to select 5m and gta5 if these are not listed in here make sure to go to browse button and go to c drive go to users go to your name folder which your pc have and there will be a app data folder if app data is not listing in here or you don't see it we're gonna have to do something go to c drive click on view button and click on show click on hide hidden items so you will see app data folder again open go to users your computer name whatever it is mine is below so in here you will see app data folder open it go to local find 5m and here you will see 5m application click on add and you will get 5m here and same simple steps for gta5 go to browse open the location where you have installed gta5 and select the biggest size in application click add now what you're gonna have to do is select gta5 click on options and select high performance click save go to 5m and repeat these steps that's it now go to change default graphic settings make sure if you see hardware accelerated gpu scheduling option make sure to enable it and also enable this optimization for windowed games go to search bar and type game mode game mode settings and make sure to turn it off and also search for game bar settings and make sure to turn it off also now close it download this pack link in the description after downloading it just simply extract it here open this pack and these are some files in this folder first we're gonna open cmd cmd commands first we're gonna open commands and go to search bar and type PowerShell this is the uh, command for disabling Xbox game bar completely from Windows if you don't use Xbox game bar for recording some people use recordings and uh, for screenshots I would say lame bar because it consumes so much performance of your system so much FPS so better will be a OBS for recording and screenshots etc you can use this OBS 
Now copy this, paste in PowerShell, press enter, it will disable it. Now type exit. And this is the CMD command for ultimate power plan if you use laptop or computer. Search for CMD and run as administrator. Paste the command, press enter. The ultimate performance is activated. Again type exit. That's it. Open DirectX web setup from Microsoft. It will update your DirectX version to the latest version if it requires an update. Otherwise it will say you are up to date. Make sure to check for update. Guys, DirectX is very important. You know, finish and open the hibernate in Windows. Enable or disable. We're gonna have to disable this. Again back, user control, account control, disable it also. You guys can re-enable it, but this is 100% okay if you disable them. That's the guide. Hope this video helps you and you will not get any of the 5M error ever again. Make sure to subscribe and like the video. It motivates me to get you more informative videos about gaming. See you in the next video. Bye guys. Won't find